gems the hashish right here on Allah's novel dot live Yay, Ewan. Where did we get this one from? Like, I, like, seriously, I don't even know where we got this one from. Like, is, this, is this our new background music? It's so funky. It's so Wednesday ish. Yeah, it's so Wednesday. Wednesday. Anyway, welcome to it, guys. Welcome to it. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. This is I Love Marvel Dot Live, and you're currently tuned in to Marvel Streets, a 2.1 breakfast show with your boy Tato Malendi and none other than Silver HSE, the guy with, with the, the energy. energy. It is hashtag Woke Wednesday today. Mm-hmm. Um, that means we're going to be talking about anything of Medulla Blancata. Yes, um, yeah. We've been having a little bit of problems. So it's been a w- wetty. <laughs> A wetty Wednesday. Yeah, wait Actually, morning. it's a yeah. wetty yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So anyway, guys, we are going to be talking. I know a lot of you probably saw a clip. Um, I want to play this clip again. Yeah. I want to show okay. you guys this. I want yeah. to play this do clip it. again. Do it. Do it. Uh, Matthew, Matthew, how about I remove myself? I want to play this clip. There we go. Yep. That's basically what the SA government is currently doing to the youth. That's mm-hmm. the question that we're asking right now. Is the South African government right now snatching hey, the future of the South African youth at this moment? A lot of things that are currently happening in the country right now, guys. So we're going to be talking about these such situations and also going to be looking at the fact that are we as the youth of South Africa ungrateful? Yeah. Um, do we have resources? Yeah. Do we always rely on the government? Or basically is the government just being government, being douches? You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what we're going to need to talk about today, guys. Uh, um, and we need to find out more information from you guys. Do you guys actually think that the South African government is currently stealing from the youth? Mm-hmm. I want a simple yes or no answer. And I want a reason also from you. Um, if you can tell us the reason why you think so also. Um, it's going to be a fantastic show, guys. For now, though, I want to play a fantastic music video. It's a new music video also that we've got in place. And then um, none other than Buttercup is going to be joining us also. And then we're going to start off with the show on a fantastic guy. I've got very interesting things that are happening. Sisulu launches a 2.1 million rand defamation lawsuit. I wish I had lawyers. Here, I wish I had lawyers. Eh? What? Here, I wish I had lawyers. So, a lot of interesting things that this is coming from the Sowetan, also. And I'm going to be telling you also what's currently happening in the business day. And let's not forget, guys, the nation shut down. It's currently mm-hmm. something that's blooming also. So very interesting stuff in terms of that. Do not forget that on Facebook, it is at ilovemarvel.live. You can join us also on uh, Twitter, which is ilovemarvel.l. And you can follow us also or, or subscribe rather on YouTube, I Love Marvel Space yeah. Live. We're going to be having a fantastic show. Actually, I don't even want to play a music video. I'm going to play a quick ad. And then right after this ad, we'll be back with more of what's currently happening here on uh, Marvel Streets, a 2.1 breakfast show. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. We really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Do this. I love Marvel dot live. Yeah, this is the best deep house show in Johannesburg because there's a black orchid <laughs> in the house. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Can we, Can we read some of uh, the people what the people are saying on Instagram? Yeah. Let's see the Instagram. On, on Instagram, we still have Inga Mazimba. Uh, hi, love. Unjani. Let's get the, the comments on Instagram. Unjani. Uh, and then we have Golden Mellow Mobile. Mm. Hey. Golden Mellow Mobile. Golden. Yeah, I love the way that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds and very nice. One. Sounds like something you could order at a, at a restaurant. At a restaurant. I yeah, would sure. like a golden mellow mobile. mobile. Yeah, I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, and this is the reason why I rather obsess about Elaine. Mm. You know, Johannes. It's it's it's, it's, oh. it's much nicer. It's much yeah. it's much nicer. Crispy, yeah, like not confusing. No, not doesn't confusing. sound like something you'd find on a menu. <laughs> 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 What is going on? Like maybe she's just like pausing. I say, but I take off this post. I can't even talk. 
No, bro, you're sleeping on us. <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna come here, you're gonna be like, I didn't know it wasn't me. Oh, <laughs> 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 we didn't ask for your time. We said we wanted to say we wanted to say we wanted to say Mama la music you fell. This guy. Yeah, this guy, dog. Anyway, we're going to be having a fantastic show lined up for you guys today. Um, I do not forget, we are talking about the AC government and what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, Walk Wednesday today, guys. So let's make sure that we get ourselves actually flooded in terms of this. So very interesting stuff. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Um, there's a lot that's currently happening, right, in, yeah. in the world yeah. right now, in the country. In actually. the country, yeah. especially the country. Um, but what do we mean when we say that there's a lot of resources and South Africans are basically ungrateful of the resources that are out here? Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. of the most accessible resources that we have are people. Yeah. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. One of the resources that we have as people, if we have a government that's basically not doing a good job, then why isn't that we're not bringing them down? Why not? You know what What's I mean? What's stopping us? We need to bring them down. Exactly. Another one that we have is mentorship. Understanding that a mentor does not have to be formal. Anything can be a mentor. You can always use a past failures or successes as a, as long as it's got you wanting to push up, panda, and I don't want to say <laughs> yeah, yeah. it. Uh, no, I, I ain't saying it. It's right there. I can see it. I ain't saying it. <laughs> They're not sponsoring me. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. it. <laughs> to push up panda and zala and zala <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not bad yeah, yeah okay, so okay. It, it's, it's one of those chests right now that we've got mm. a lot of resources that we have in the mm. country mm. and um mm. we need to talk about it guys the sa youth right now guys is basically receiving a backlash from the, the south african government due to corruption due to corruption we are not basically getting what we need to get mm. Mm. you know what mm. i mean we're not yeah. getting what we're promised yes but now, at the end of the day, also, it's that the South African government is currently snatching all opportunities away. Yeah. Because of financial aiding. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Um, so one of the reasons why we even played that clip also was to basically show people this is what the South African government is currently doing That's to how the it youth. Feels also. It feels like that to us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you're probably asking yourself, like, what are you guys talking about right now? You know? <laughs> we're talking about serious things. That's what we're talking about right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, look at Blade Muslim man. It's like a complex shit. I bet you have a straight face after that. It's like a complex shit. And you know what I mean? It's this guy's washed his face. He bleached his face also on top of that. So we're going to be talking about that right now. I need to get your comments coming through, guys. This is I Love Mabel.live with your boy Tato Malende and none other than Silva HSC. Silva. Um, what, 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 what have you received or what have you gotten out of the South African government right now? And the fact that we as the youth feel like they're snatching opportunities away from us with their corruption. <laughs> and this is why I think one of the reasons why the government is doing this to us is because they can see that we are not focused. They can see that we are not focused. We are sabotaging ourselves. Cupcake be pointing at people and stuff like that. <laughs> Who is he pointing at? He should be pointing at his own people also. Not pointing just at us. You know what I mean? Yo, so um, what's the take, man, in terms of the South African government right now, guys, are snatching opportunities away from the youth. And that's what the youth feels like right is, now. I mean, man. that's why it we is. have this national shutdown in terms of um, vits protesting and, mm, you know, mm, this spiraling mm. out to other universities Tetris across, across like, the yeah. uh, across the country, you know? Mm. Um, on top of that, also, we've got, like, SA police brutality, Yo, dude, you know? Um, like, it's It's... it's it's basically it's basically the problems that we're having right now so we feel like humanity has been snatched away from we've been, we've been robbed we, we've been robbed basically the basic needs yeah you know the yeah. basic needs so we want to talk to you guys right now about it and please do send in your comments in terms of that also the youth is basically protesting right now amalgamate as you can see that image right now we are revolting it's but this image also Make you feel like you should have chosen another image I wish, too. I, wish, I wish i could see that image like dude oh they didn't send the link to you Man, they don't like you, man. Like I've been saying this, like they don't like they you. They don't man. love me in this place. They man. don't what like is wrong? you. Are you guys tired of me? But anyway, this this is a protest, man. And I think the girls, yeah, they were protesting quite well about it. You know, like just showcasing how frustrated they are. Mm, you know what mm, I mean? Mm, and mm, uh, mm. you know, when 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 a woman goes nude on a protest, Yo, I, I just must know, know it's chai. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for attention. Chai, like, it's chai, it's chai. We need attention. It's chai. You know what I mean? So uh, shout out, by the way, to everyone that's been protesting against this thing. Also, uh, we really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys um for doing that mm, um mm, it's currently mm. what we're facing right it's, now in it, our country it, yeah. yeah like like 
uh, how can I put this? Like, I'm one of the people that I can definitely say that I feel like um, I was I was robbed by the government. Um, um, you still remember the World Cup when we hosted the World Cup 2010? Yeah. Yeah, so 2010... Uh, How would I forget that? <laughs> like, do you still remember 2010? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really? <laughs> no, no, no. With, 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 with the kind of yeah. things that have been happening in our country, man, like, it's easy to forget um, the good stuff that, that have happened because of now what... I mean, like, one of the biggest uh, 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 highs, if I can if I can call it that, is mm. the 500 billion. Are we still having a chat about that 500 billion? Like, it's we haven't solved it. Are we ever going to solve it? That's the that's the chat. By moving, by what we said, by just moving, like we need to do something. Someone needs to step up. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. we need to change. We, you know, whenever they say, you know, we reshuffle them, like, you know, we need to reshuffle that age in the parliament. We need to reshuffle the age in the parliament. We need to reshuffle people in that parliament. Like, all of them. You know, um, there was an interesting comment, uh, not a comment, but an interesting topic that we had um, when we were traveling, coming towards uh, work today, um, where we spoke about is that there's, there's a lot of dust in the South African government. Mm, you know? A lot of it. A lot of dust. And when we're referring to dust, we're referring to these old folks that are currently uh, within the, uh, mm, the South African mm, government. Mm, and, mm. you know, even, even, even the World Cup also, for instance, when the 2010 World Cup came in, the country yeah. received a lot of money, bro. Yeah, but then raise that money. And there was no inducement in terms of that. So that's why we're saying that the SA government right now, the South it's African youth, yeah. feels like the SA government is currently robbing them. Yeah, you I know? Think. And I don't know. I want to get your comments. Are you are you for it? Or you think that we just may, maybe uh, uh, talking smack right now? Mm. Um, mm. But do you also agree with us in terms of this? That yeah. Do you think that the South African government is currently basically stealing yeah. from the, the South African youth? Because right now, first of all, the country is currently in heavy debt. Yep. Who do you think is going to have to work on that? Yep. The youth. Yeah, yeah. You see, because of now, the youth is the future, isn't it? So what kind of future is the government leaving behind? It's crazy stuff. It's crazy stuff. I mean, look at what's happening now. Like, you know, like uh, um, the youth is, is, is actually like standing up at this moment uh, saying like, you know, enough is enough. I mean, this is happening again. When are we going to learn? Are when, we ever going to learn? When are we going to move forward? You know, there's, uh, yesterday that we were talking about this also, where we mentioned the part that, you know what, our parents actually fought for the, you know, for freedom in, in the apartheid, uh, what you call this era, era regime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we know we were talking about all of those kind of things. But right now, the current youth in South Africa is facing um, another, another, another battle, another which, is, which, mm. is, which is corruption. Mm. Mm -hmm. Corruption, 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 corruption. <laughs> like right now, I feel like we should get a Cardi B. <laughs> but it's wet ass corruption that's in this country right now. Whack. <laughs> that's what it is. It's whack. We're currently experiencing whack. Wet ass corruption. Wet ass corruption, bro. Like on a serious note. You know, like as I was explaining the, the 2010 story, I was one of the uh, um, uh, youths that actually took part in uh, the World Cup, right? Mm -hmm. I was, I was. Okay, I'm a dancer also. Yeah. You know, uh, but not... So when you said you took part on the World Cup, you know, for a moment I thought that you were like, I was like, oh my boy, you were playing. <laughs> like, which which team <laughs> do you play for, bro? Like, I didn't see you in the squad list, dog. Nah, bro. Yeah. Like, you see the 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 um the for, for the opening. Yeah. I was part of the opening. Act, nice. Yeah. Right? Nice. Nice. And nice. And then yes, yes. Uh, we had we had um uh your 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 what what do you call them? Your the parks where you actually you uh, you have your big screens, people watching. Then yeah. you dream breaks with heavy. Yeah. Dances. Those are those so are fan fan. Parks. If fan park, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So I was, I used to do uh, also a uh, couple of things uh, with the fan parks, ne? Mm -hmm. And then listen to me, ne? This is what I was supposed to get, or what we were supposed to get. Yeah, we were supposed to get eighty k. You guys, yeah. Ask me how much we got. Eight thousand. <laughs> I'm just taking a guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm just taking a guess. We got 24. 24. 24 k. And what happened to the rest of the other money that you guys were supposed to receive? Uh, they said it's coming. And you guys still waiting for it? Yeah, it's still coming. South it's still African coming. Government. This is 11 years ago. 11 years 11 ago. 11 years ago. My over God. something that was happening My God. for the country. Mm. Right? Mm. Say no. The youth is going to come in and in the youth, we're going to be able to support youth with this mm. much. How this house... And then we still haven't received that some families some families actually yeah, yeah. like went through a, like a, a difficult time over that thing bruh 
to, to be honest with you because of now how things were happening because now you know whenever you 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 you're about to do an act for something else you need you need a lot of stuff you need yeah. transportation you need uh, an outfit you need that you need this you need this and then you know our parents were going all out because now okay shop the government is doing something for the youth right uh to your surprise baba whips gone yep they snatch gone they snatch the money and gone like they say okay you're gonna get okay, like okay thank you and then hips, <laughs> gone anyway guys it is exactly 7 25 right now guys uh, and uh you currently tune into marvel streets a 2.1 breakfast show and uh yeah we we basically talking about uh the level of corruption around in the country also with the sa government stealing from the youth what do you think about that our question for today also is that are we are we maybe ungrateful as south african youth you know um do we have all these resources? Do we rely so much on the government that mm. we end up not doing things on mm. our own? And also when I'm saying that, are we ungrateful is that we spoke about the fact that we've got the biggest resource right now, which is democracy, yeah. right? But yeah. you can vote someone out. Yeah. We're doing protesting right now. The country's going through our protesting, protesting. There are other means also mm-hmm. that are lot. happening in the country, mm-hmm. you know? Um, mm-hmm where i think the youth can take full helms on it you know because sure. most of the time we always look for the government to aid us to aid us yeah to yeah. aid our career uh, career path at the moment right now guys we are currently facing a situation where the level of corruption in this country it's is crazy. something that we cannot we cannot take it back yeah we cannot take it yeah. back um but we need to find out the solutions so there are other people in zimbabwe for instance mm-hmm. zimbabwe right now is suffering Mm, they are working mm, extremely hard to get mm. there but if you look at the zimbabwe situation and look at the south african situation that's what I'm saying. Are we being ungrateful? <laughs> Are we actually being ungrateful? You know what I mean? Because there's a level of entitlement that I've got. Like, it's a level of youth, entitlement. The youth you. of South Thank Africa you. actually has right now is that we feel so entitled that we feel like the world actually owes us mm. success, owes us our career and stuff. And sometimes I feel yeah. like we, we need to do it ourselves, but that's one man's opinion. And that's one of the reasons why we open up this discussion. One. You know what I mean? Mm. So the question mm. that we've got right now, the boiling question is, guys, is that are we ungrateful as the South African youth? Um, I mean, are we using the resources that we have at our disposal to their full potential? Mm. 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 Are, are we, we actually doing that? Or are we just complaining? Or are we just complaining? Tutuzan. <laughs> He's he's challenging. He's challenging. Um, he got up. He, yeah, he's challenging several Ramaphos. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I'm yeah, so it's a lawless lawn also. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know, man. I've got mixed. Yeah, I've got mixed yeah, emotions yeah. about it. Yes, we want to get rid of the dust. Yeah, but, but... I want to get rid of the dust and bring mud. You know, it's. <laughs> That's going to be a party every day, bro. Right? You know what I mean? I feel like I got one stock or in the cabinet, you know. Uh, Slate queens everywhere. You know? Like, did you just want to change the cabinet into into, into Black Door or, yeah. or Taboo? Yo, dude, like, you know what I mean? But anyway, I cannot judge the guy in terms of that. I don't know the guy's political affiliations. Yeah. But that's what's currently happening. Now, let's look at what's currently happening in terms of uh, current affairs, right? Let's go. Let's do this. Let's look at what's happening. So, I've got, like, something interesting here. From uh, I'm gonna start with the Sowetan. One of the headlines that the Sowetan actually has um, is that Lindo Sisul is launching a 2.1 million rand defamation lawsuit. <laughs> why are you laughing? Like as if as if she's not allowed to do that. Like no, why are you no, laughing? No, 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 no. Well, okay, okay. what's happening no, about? <laughs> you know nothing. So nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good okay. We'll you talk it. about it. <laughs> way, when you win that kiss and you wanna spend it on someone. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, I, 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 no one, I, no one, you talking about this story. Yeah, right, I like, <laughs> I like old meat. It's nice and tender. In your maize oil. No, yeah, come on, yeah, so yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that. What? In your maize oil. In your maize oil. Like, come on, dog. Old meat. Yeah. How is it old? <laughs> If it says all you, you know what <laughs> anyway so this is from this is from the soweto and guys it's currently trending right now for those who just joined us it is exactly 7 30 right now 7 uh central african time um and you're currently tuned into marvel streets a 2.1 breakfast show your unconventional yeah. breakfast show um we don't beat up out the bush yeah we, 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 tell, it like we it tell it is. like it is we yeah. tell it like it is so this is uh lindy was just sort of saying she's suing two former ceos of defamation Right. Yeah. So the human settlers, uh, water and sanitation minister Lindy Wasasudo is suing two former CEOs of water boards for defamation and reputational damage claims totaling to 2.1 million rand. Huh. How much of her reputation is currently is expensive? Indeed. How much? How much do you think you would sue for a defamation of character? Let's say, let's say, let's say right now, I do something that defamates like your personality and who you are, and I'm like, 
I, I don't know. I'm like silver. Let's let's let's, let's take someone who's rich, so that I can you know be confused with my amount. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna give yeah, the formation yeah, yeah, of character yeah, yeah. right now. It probably maybe be two hundred and something thousand. Two hundred and something. Thousand. I don't think you'd have you'd have the two point one million. Yeah, like I I would request two two point one million, but then knowing the law and stuff, like who bad when who are you? Give this guy hundred thousand, so he's gonna be fine. Like, yeah, please. you know, because like yeah. the formation of character, guys. Like, we look at basically the reputation that the you reputation. have. So, Linda Sisulu apparently has a, a big reputation. She's a big, she's a big name, right? She's a big name. She's a big name. So, obviously, for her, two point one million rand is, you know, it's it's it, it's rightful. You know, it's like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, no, yeah. No, and what is two point one million rand to someone like Linda Sisulu? <laughs> no, let's be honest with each other, guys. The scratch in the neck. Ah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So this is one of the reasons why today uh, on Walk Wins that we are talking about such situations also of doing things for yourself. Mm. So if you can't get money, sue people. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Just know the but law make sure you have, and you have, sue people. And you have lawyers, bro. Sorry, you have an image of Elinda were kissing someone. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't understand what does what does what does the kissing of Lindy have to do with what we are talking about? Matthew, you had to sometimes like you do things. I... <laughs> <laughs> the way you just. <laughs> hey, man, look at look at Blade. This is Blade. Blade on mono rato and also na bat. Oh, when I'm squeezing on the Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got a comment also from Pamela. It's like morning, 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 Pamela. How are you doing, you How Pamela? You doing, it's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. I haven't, I haven't heard you from from it. Oh my God! I saw, I saw that image, and something just scroll uh, crawled up my spine, basically. What's up? Like bleeding when I, I'm gonna know, man. <laughs> <laughs> like you can even see Linda was kiss also it's like I should want me a phone no. <laughs> like she wasn't ready for that kiss dog she's even laughing also it's like mba that's not even a mba that's a mm. it's a mm. it's a mm. Mm. <laughs> after this his brother is like hey Blade, Blade, I need to go wash my mouth sanitizer please I need to go wash my mouth <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne is like this picture makes me uncomfortable like I don't know you're not, like, you're not the only it one <laughs> it doesn't look right you know what I mean I know they're like someone in the same age group but there's something wrong about it <laughs> <laughs> Would you call that the money kiss? What? That's a 2.1 million red kiss. There we go. <laughs> 2.1 million red kiss. Anyway, guys. So yeah. according to the court uh, papers, uh, the Sowetan has um, has seen Sisulu uh, has seen rather uh, that Sisulu is actually suing um, Phineas Lihodi. Uh, former CEO of Lepele North, uh, Northern Water Board, which is LNP, in Limpopo uh, for 1 million rand, while Vuyo um, Zitumane, former CEO of Amatola Water Board in Eastern Cape, is being sued 1.1 million rand. So there's a 100,000 rand difference. Yeah, like, I went to home away, Matatian. No, we're in the end. That's a 100 million rand. Yeah, 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 like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but now Lindua guys is currently suing uh these two these two uh CEOs. Um I think sometimes also when it comes to suing, they look at the person's position. Awesome. You know what I mean? They no, look definitely. at the because like you, you can't Lindua can sue me 2.1 million rand. It's what I'm saying. Kito Parker, That's what I'm saying. Like, let's just uh you not you. Yeah. Yeah, let's look at someone with money and then yeah. But anyway, that's the chat that we're talking about. We're talking about the level of corruption in the country. Um, so Lindywa right now is actually suing two guys. And these guys, they were both served with combined uh, um, summons um, earlier this month, which Sisulu uh, told uh, Sowetan yesterday that 2.1 million rand are too little for the damage that her name suffered. Too little? Yeah, she's like, no, it's too little. It's like, they're 2.1 million rand. I'm doing them a favor. 
basically. That's what she's saying. It's like what you have is a draft and not the final amount that I intended to sue them for. I will not give you the new figure. My name and the integrity of the institution I serve was being dragged through the mud and I had to respond. Mm. You're asking yourself right now, like, mm. what the hell happened, Lily? Like, what happened, really? Why, why, why did your name get 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 thrown in the mud in terms of that? Oh, what did they say? So this is what what happened. So Linda was suing the uh, Hordi for accusing her for overreaching and acting unlawfully and corruptly and corruptly in uh, 2019 when she hired another company uh, empowering uh, water solutions as a sole service provider to run a trial plant of the sand water extraction corruption. system technology so corruption corruption, mm -hmm. corruption. like i took this you know what i mean like, yeah ne? so what she's saying is that um basically you know these tenders mm. so there was a tender that these guys applied for Lindy didn't give them that tender she gave uh what you call this um she gave her the uh, empowerment uh, the empowering water solutions instead and what happens is that Lehori went down is like yeah no <laughs> corruption she gave it to her friends she's like oh okay because I of see. that i i, I, yeah, I, I will, I will yeah, get you i will yeah. get you because of that yeah so the reason yeah. why she's getting uh she's basically yeah, suing these I guys see. is because these guys came out and they said that they'll do this they, they came out and they said that lindy didn't give them the tender because of some reasons you know like she gave the tender to only her friend mm, and mm, whatever you mm, know mm, and she came out like but that's not true I didn't just give that tender to i gave that tender to empowering water solutions because they were better off for sure that's the information we know <laughs> that's what we're getting that's what we're getting also yeah you know what i mean so that's currently one of the reasons why she's suing um uh, what you call those the guys from lahodi also mm. so the level of corruption in this country increases increases and increases All the time. and these things of tender premiers if you guys still remember there was this nando's ad <laughs> there was this nando's ad you where see, you see me man yeah yeah I'm, I'm i'm a man of thighs and uh, of thighs and thighs uh, and thighs yeah present thighs yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Wait, tender premier tender premier i'm a tender premier he, he's a tender premier so we're talking about the level of corruption that's currently going on right now and uh lindy was soon went out to soweto and man is like guys let's write about this thing i want to i want to make it public i want to show people about it but do you guys actually think that this was like maybe a pr stuff because she called these guys as for PR, PR stunt, um, for I mean, for, for, for a person of 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 her caliber, bro, like, yeah. and then you you you've been accused of not keeping your your your, your promise and and deliver a housing and building also. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, like you've been called out. Yeah. First of all. Yeah. I don't think it's a PR stunt. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's 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 all about standing up and saying no. Okay, I'm not gonna stand up for this. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's, I'm not gonna been, let. She feels come. like she's been bullied. Yeah, basically. she's been bullied basically. Yeah. You know, like uh, how 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 it's like, you know, when you uh, when you are included in the in a bad pic picture mm. type of thing, and I'm like, but then I was never there. Why am I in this bad picture? Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. I would definitely sue. Actually, I would definitely come out even in public and say, just to warn anyone else who's trying to do that. She, she actually went out also, guys, by saying that she was made aware of uh, possible corruptions at LNB. One of the reasons why she didn't give LNB the the actual tender was that LNB um, had some corruptions on it. Mm. She then uh, procured the service of a forensic company, outsourced risk and compliance assessment to look into LNB's books and to conduct a lifestyle audit of the board and other senior managers. Now, Lepela was being investigated for irregular expenditure and governance issues <laughs> by other uh, companies not by even other companies bro. so anyway and the um, so the water board was also at the center of the three billion rand failed water project in how much three billion rand water failed initiative three billion three. rand and then you're gonna ask me if we're still talking about 500 billion so it was a three billion <laughs> rand failed water project aimed at 55 villages in the uh, mopani district in giani these are the same guys that are now posting on instagram i'm gonna take you to dubai yeah that's the dubai money right there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's 
That's Dubai. And yet the youth is suffering. And the youth is suffering. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about this level of corruption that we are currently enduring here in South Africa. And the youth of South Africa basically taking the big homes over it. Like who are being, um, you know, uh, the backlashes mm. who are receiving um, mm. the end of the stick mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about that right now, guys. And we want to talk about the level of corruption in the SA government. Where, where, where does it put you as a South African citizen? Damn. Guys, if we, don't, if, if we don't, if we don't, if we don't talk about this, if we don't engage if in such platforms yeah. also about it, then a lot of people won't know about it because we reach out to a message right now. Mm -hmm. And if you comment and you engage with us, it goes it, out. It will make a difference. It really does make a difference. It will make a difference. So let's let's have a chat. I want to I want to I want to find out your comments, guys, in terms of this. The question that we are currently asking right now, at the specific moment, right now, right, is that do you guys think that the South African government is currently stealing from the youth? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's 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 one of the phrases. That's one of the phrases. The phrases show that they utilize. Bugu zenzel. Right, most of South Africans, um, South African youth are like, Yeah, I wake up to do it, but I have limited resources. That's the question that we're also asking Do you actually have limited resources? Do you actually? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we taking things for granted? Are we taking the resources for granted? Are we actually you, you utilizing the, the resources properly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you, we might say like, no, uh, it's, it's, it's limited resources, but only to find out you're not actually using them proper. That's another I, question. I feel like I feel like this is one of the biggest things that we need to talk about right now is whether we are basically using the resources that we have within South Africa right now as the South African youth to its full extent, to mm -hmm. its full potential. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, maybe we are using it, but not to that extent. You yeah. Know? yeah. I mean, right now we were just talking about the the Lindy was Sulu situation where she's suing 2.1 million rand to two different CEO companies mm -hmm. from a waterboarding situation, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. That the amount also that just came out right now oh, with geez. the lapel thing it's three billion rand three billion rand is quite a lot and this is supposed it's supposed to be a project that actually waters 55 villages i'm not Imagine. saying houses guys Imagine. i am saying 55 villages, villages. Big project. right now those villages are currently still suffering i'll tell you that much anyway um so the Khori was also suspended in uh, july last year and resigned the following month and his board was also dissolved <laughs> by everyone even even your own board you now both uh, Zitumani and Lekhodi challenged their suspensions through the courts and in their affidavits and the media interviews that they had where they mentioned that um, the Ascend Water Project was the main cause of their clash with Sisulu hmm. so they said that the hmm. minister was politically too close to the owners of EWS <laughs> ah, on, and that man. she had abused her powers. <laughs> what? And like, there's just so much blame what? game when it comes to tenders, guys. What? We're pointing fingers like left and right. It's like one, one, no, one. Buddy, you did this. No, you did this. No, you did this. This is crazy, man. This is crazy I, stuff. I did this that because of you did that. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're chatting about right now, guys. We're talking about the level of corruption that's going on within the country. And we're talking about whether the South African youth is actually ungrateful of the amount of resources that we actually receive um, within the country. Look at that. Look at that image. Look at that image. L l l just look at that image. And Maralindi, she still looks like she's young. Eh? I don't know, guys. Is this is this me being... Is this colorism? Or is it the yellow <laughs> yeah. bone? Maralindi. But Lindy is still... Lindy still, still looks fine now. Like, seriously, guys. Like... Let's be honest. Are, 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 hey, guys, are you going back to the thing of Woman Clash Wednesday? Yeah. Lindy was soon. <laughs> I am voting for Lindy. On the dot. On the yeah. dot. Like right, Matthew. Matthew, right now. Back Talk to, to us. Come back to Ed. Dumela. Dumela? Yeah, uh, okay, okay. We don't do Mela here, bro. So anyway, right. uh, um, we don't talk Mela either, dude. Oh, uh, morning. Uh no, we don't morning also, bro. Um, come on, come, come on with the next one. Come like, on. I thought you were gonna come with the next Okay, that's the one that we're doing. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, when I'm gonna feel left out. <laughs> so, the image that we just saw right now, yeah. uh, with Lindu and everyone else, um, but this, 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 this is not putting a twist in terms of, um. <laughs> In terms of women crush Wednesday, yeah. we'll talk to you about that. Do, do you think Linda was still still got it? 
Do you think she's still got it? Yeah, do you think this sister got it? After what I saw her kissing Blade, I don't know where her mind is. Yeah. What? I, I, I actually, I, I understand also. Like, for her kissing Blade in Zimbabwe, it's, it's already showing a lot of things. Because, I mean, Red that's, like, that's, that's like kissing tall. You know what I mean? Like, with that face <laughs> that guy has. Like, anyway. So, anyway, we've got a comment here from Clint Hill right now. Clint Hill says, what's happening with our artists who have received non-organization support they are protesting and have been occupying institutions and minister natim tetra is nowhere to be found barry barry clint no clint is asking uh, this is a, it's a valid a, question it's a valid question guys <laughs> because right now people are protesting going out there but the people who are supposed to be answering such questions are nowhere to be found yeah, nowhere to be found right it's like they're all in hiding but seriously where is nati valley <laughs> where is nati tetra <laughs> Where the hell is Natin Tetra? Barakap, Natin Ukai. I know, know Barakap is going to answer this. <laughs> Where is Natin Tetra? Really? Because right now, it's, it's the suffering, it's the amount of suffering that we're currently going on in terms of this, you know? Mm. Um, these, 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 and you know, uh, these, these no receive no support rather from government organizations. It's it's really troublesome, guys. It it's really troublesome because there's no level of support and aiding that's basically going out, right? Mm -hmm. That is one of the things. Yeah, right? that's, that's, that's um, one of the, the problems. Yes, they do tell us whenever they go through protesting and stuff like that, right? Yeah. and said, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Do it. But no, this no, this this is how it works. This is how this is how the South African government or the current ruling party actually does things. Okay. When it comes to going to polls, right? It's like together we can. Always. Together, yes. Yeah. Together. 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 And then they are voted in power. Then they're like, wake up and do it yourself. <laughs> Can you say together? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. you said together, though. I thought we were going to do it together. Like, what's happening now? And now all of a sudden, like, now all of a sudden, Vuku said that. Now I have to do it by myself. You really gave up on me? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, guys. Like, seriously, we need to we need to put a stop in terms of such things. Yeah, this is man. not the only thing that's currently happening right now. Sesco actually came out mm -hmm. also saying that, guys. We are currently under fire for a lot of things that we are also uh, doing right now. That's why we're currently protesting. There's no money. COVID came lo uh, last year. Guys, a lot of people lost money. A lot of people lost their jobs. These parents can't pay for, their, pay for, the for their kids. Yeah. 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 Now, these students have been studying and they passed. And some of them, obviously, they don't pass to the point of being able to receive um, a funding. Funding. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like Matota score. We call it Madota score, which is basically just making it. You know what I mean? Like your average is like 50 yeah. or 60 kind yeah. of thing. You know what I mean? You go apply to Nepsis, right? Mm -hmm. Nepsis is like, <sighs> dude, dude, we can we can help you, but we don't have money. Mm, we don't have money. We can help you, but we don't, but have, we have, money. We don't have money. What does that say? So right now it's 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 basically it's basically seen as the current ruling party saying that you know what we're gonna scrape as much as we can scrape out of this country whilst we still can. Yeah. That's what that's that's what it comes across as at this moment. No doubt. No doubt. I don't know. I wanna hear your comments, guys. It's a political affair, it's a it's it's a Wednesday, guys. We are talking walk Wednesday. So in other words, we're talking about things that have to do with what we need to know. We need to be very cautious as South African citizens we also. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. So the important question that we're actually asking right now, two important questions that we're asking. The first one is that, is the South African government mm. stealing from the South African youth? I'm not talking even the country. I'm just focusing on the youth because oh, just this, week, youth. this week is basically the youth. Is the government doing that to the South African youth right now? Mm. The second question also is that, is the South African youth I'm grateful in the fact that there is resources. They just need to know how to utilize these resources. That's it. That's the question. Actually. If you got That's answers it. for us, man, please do uh, share in your answers also. Do not forget, guys, this was uh, part one. We are currently live on Facebook, currently live also on Twitter. On Facebook, it is at I love Marvel dot live. On Twitter, I love Marvel dot, um, not a dot live, but I love Marvel L. Make <laughs> sure you send in those comments, guys. Before we close it on this, I want to close it. I want to close it, uh, part one, with something very interesting right now. This is what we think the South African government is actually doing to us. <laughs> this is what we think they're doing to us right now. This is what we think the South African government is doing to us. 
Matthew. <laughs> That's what the South African youth is doing to us. <laughs> you see, they give them the resources. They give them resources. They're not using the resources to their full potential. Like, what's going on with this guy? Like, how would you know? Because you are not listening. Resource. Anyway, we got a clip here that we're going to show you guys. This is what we think the South African government is currently doing to the South African youth. Do you agree? We're going to talk more about it on part two, guys. <laughs> Let's have a chat about it. We love you guys. Do not forget. Stay tuned. Um, do not go anywhere from our pages, okay? Two spin. President Biden answering questions tonight for the first time about the growing problem at the southern border. 